So let's talk about the click to recalculate button in my apartment development model. So in version 2.7 of my apartment development model, I made some significant changes to the backend VBA macros that run the recalculate button. And the changes involve number one, adding a more robust development fee calculation module, and then adding a troubleshooting feature that identifies one of the main reasons why the recalculate button doesn't work. And so in this video, I'm going to show you those changes, help you understand how they work and, and uh, cue you in on the troubleshooting uh, issue and how you can uh, fix that yourself. So you'll notice here, if we come to the underwriting tab of, of the model, uh, there is now a input next to development fee, a percentage. And so if you recall from earlier versions of the model, this cell here, I 42, was just a hard-coded value. You would enter some round number for development fee. And then we had a calculation out here to the left that told you what percentage of the uh, total land, hard costs, and soft costs that development fee equaled. And what I've found in, in discussing uh, this model with various users of it is that uh, people want to be able to enter a percentage and then have the development fee be a percentage of the total project cost. And now development fee is calculated in a variety of ways, but that seems to be the most common. And in order to do that, it requires circular logic. Now you may be familiar with how I solve the circular logic issue with construction debt, right? So uh, construction debt generally has an interest reserve account. That interest reserve account is circular because you're charging interest on top of interest. And so I created a, a macro You'll see here, if I change, say, the loan to cost assumption to 60, this red click to recalculate button appears. And what I've done in the back end, if I go to Visual Basic, you'll see that here under General, I created this recalculate macro. And what the recalculate macro does is it basically runs a goal seek where it iteratively changes the equity amount such that the construction debt amount changes, and until the 60% loan to cost input is equal to, or, or until this construction debt amount is equal to the 60% loan to cost, it will iterate over and over and over again until that happens. So you can see that if I click the to recalculate, what's happening is in the back end, it's basically changing this value until this value is equal to 60, in this case, 60% of cost. And so what I did here, in the VBA is I revamped both the recalculate macro as well as created a new macro called calc loan and dev fee that basically the recalculate macro pulls from this macro and this macro uses the same logic but does it both for the loan as well as for the development fee. Now, you don't need to look in, in the back end, but I'm just letting you know what, what the change was. So now what happens is if you come up here and let's say 4% development fee, again, the click to recalculate appears. There's some logic at the very end of the, the, the model that actually determines whether it needs to recalculate or not. You click it, it's iterating uh, through the development fee as well as the construction debt because the development fee affects the construction debt until the development fee is 4% of total costs and the construction debt is 60% of cost. Now, one of the the issues that people have run into with this macro, it's, it's by far the most common issue, is that this macro does not work if you have a circular reference elsewhere in this workbook. That's just the, it, it's a quirk in Excel's goal seek feature. The goal seek feature won't work if there's a circular reference. And so let me show you that, and then I'll show you the error alert that, uh, that fixes, or at least alerts you that, that this is the issue that's causing the click to recalculate button not to work. So let's imagine that we created a soft cost contingency. We'll put it right here. So call this contingency. And we make this, let's say the sum of all of the soft cost values like so, right? And let's make, I don't know, 5%. You do that and it works great. 
okay? However, let's say that we, instead of calculating it based on the other values in soft cost, we simply took the total soft cost and we multiplied it by 5%. Now we're gonna get a circular reference error. What this tells us is this is trying to take 5% of everything in this soft cost uh, section, including the contingency, or in other words, it becomes circular. And what many uh, of our users have done to fix this, and this way is wrong, but what many of them do, just out of practice, they go, oh, well, I know that Excel has this iterative calc feature. I go to options, I go to formulas, I enable iterative calc. And what in enabling iterative calc, this cell automatically iterates until it equals approximately 5% of the total soft cost. And this seems like an eloquent solution. Now, there's a variety of reasons why I don't recommend an iterative calc. The biggest being it slows your workbook down, but also it's not always accurate. The end result just depends on how many times it needs to iterate to solve. And Excel will only iterate a certain number of times and then it'll stop iterating. And the answer that it, that it gives may or may not be correct. So those are the two main issues with it. But in this particular model, there's another issue, and that is the click to recalculate feature no longer works if you have a circular reference. So what I've done is I've added some logic into the model that will basically let you know, hey, the click to recalculate button isn't going to work. So it says unable to recalculate. It appears you have a circular reference in your workbook. This, this recalculate feature does not work when circular references are present. Break any circular references, turn Excel's iterative calc feature off, and then try again. And so here I'm just going to go, oh, okay, well, instead of doing what I've done, let me just take 5% of the other items within soft cost section. Circular reference is gone. Now I can just simply click to recalculate, and it fixes the issue. So those are the new features in version 2.7, including uh, this tr troubleshooting feature. Let me know if you have any questions about uh, the latest updates in the model. Otherwise, thanks for your time.